welcome back to Armchair Armory and it finished at the Vitality Stadium AFC Bournemouth nil, Arsenal 3 I mean I know it's three games into the season but of those three games this is probably the best performance so far very dominant from start to finish um, there are a few moments in the second half where we um, gave Bournemouth too much of the ball too much time in our box and that kind of thing but overall a pretty standard day at the office clean sheet three points top of the league what more can you ask for I think um, everyone had a part to play today Gabriel Jesus has been phenomenal since he's he's come in um, but today was no exception it was his kind of tenacity and forward play that helped the build up for um, the first goal which was tapped in by Odegaard then the second goal was kind of him as well um, left the ball for Odegaard to shoot and then the third goal um, if the Arsenal fans didn't love him before today they definitely do now um, shot right footed shot I think it was with his left foot actually left footed shot from outside just inside the box um, from William Saliba and uh, yeah hit the inside of the post at the inside of the crossbar and went in I jumped off my seat I couldn't believe <laughs> that a centre back scoring a goal like that but it's definitely kind of cemented his place in the team I think or his kind of you know relevance of being in the team it's um, a good a good a good time at the moment I mean I know again I'll caveat this by saying it's three games into the season there's no point in getting like madly excited because anything can change between now and and the end of the season, you know, we've still got the domestic competitions to come in. We've still got the Europa League to come in. So things may change, but at the moment it feels good. As I said, after the Crystal Palace game, it's a new look Arsenal with a bit more. It seems like we've got a bit more bite about us and a bit more energy about us. It makes me think of uh, <laughs> the the phrase that I believe is going around all over the place from the All or Nothing documentary of where... Um, it's, the, it's at the start of episode 4 when Arteta's having a go at them at half time because uh, they're playing badly and he, he says if you lose the ball you run and it just feels like we're doing more of that now we're doing more of the, the donkey work to get the ball back so to speak so yeah I'm pleased if we, as I said in the preview if we can get through Fulham and Villa with maximum points you know that's what 15 out of 15 um, it'll be pretty good going into Manchester United which they won't there'll be no mugs I know that everyone's bantering Man United at the moment because of their shocking start of the season and their whole transfer woes but they've just gone out and signed Casemiro who despite the fact he's 30 which you know I'm a bit caught kind of like raising my eyebrows about um, he's still a good player it looks like they're going to get Anthony from Ajax as well, who's a decent player. So this isn't going to be the Man United forever. Like them losing to Brighton and, and Brentford isn't going to be what we're going to see throughout the season. There will be a point where Ten Hag, Ten Hag's words sink in and they actually pull it through. The only thing I'd say is that signing a player like Casemiro, he is 30 and, you know, probably only has <clears throat> two or three years left in him. So again, are you signing, you kind of players reaching the end of their career just to kind of get short-term success now my, my strategy would be to do what Arsenal have done and brought in a play, certain player of a certain age and a certain type of player and work from that but you know each club to their own but yeah that that's where the the test is going to be and then at the start of no is it November let me see unfortunately I don't memorize the fixtures I'm not that obsessed. Uh, no, October. So October the first is when we play Spurs at the Emirates, and that will be that will be the that will be the proper test because Spurs have definitely strengthened this season. They're not playing great at the moment. They haven't played great since Southampton at the start of the season, but they've still managed to win. They won today against Wolves, and they managed to get a point against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. And we've got a good record against them, against them at the Emirates, but still, like they've been, they've brought in some some decent talent this season, and um, yeah, that will be the real test. And then we got Liverpool straight after that on October the 9th. So yeah, those will be the two tests. I think Man United will be kind of like a mock test because I don't think Man United, are, even though I feel they'll be better, 
I don't think they're that far ahead of us. In fact, they're probably like a little bit behind us right now. And then it will be Spurs and, and Liverpool that will be the real test. It will also be quite interesting to see what's going to happen on the 18th of September at Brentford. Um, because obviously we, we got battered there last season. So it'll be interesting to see what happens this time. But yeah, overall, um, very pleased with the performance. As I said, dominant from start to finish. Can't really complain. Clean sheet, three points, three goals. Erdegaard brace, it was nice to see. It's nice to see that more the other players are scoring other than just Gabriel Jesus, because I think that's a problem we've had over the years that we've just had, you know, Lacazette or Aubameyang scoring most of the goals, most of our, our strikers scoring the goals. And we need needed to improve scoring from midfield. So that's uh, that's good to see as well. But yeah, roll on Fulham next week. So I'm going to leave it there. I'll be back again to preview Fulham. Until then, take care and stay safe. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Goodbye.